Gadget Report number five, get us started, P-Dub. And now, from a non-disclosed location deep within the heart of the Geek Intelligence Agency, this is the Gadget Report with your temporary host, Neil Campbell. Honestly, I don't have a boatload of cufflink wearing occasions, but I would love to know more about whoever had this idea. It's a set of cufflinks that do oh so much more than hold your fancy French cuffs together. Each link opens to reveal a USB plug. On one side, you get two gigabytes of storage, and on the other, you get a Wi-Fi hotspot. This would almost be awesome, like something from a spy movie, except that first you have to take time to install software on an internet-connected computer before the wireless functionality kicks in, which slows your whole spy thing down. If you're still interested though, the place to get a pair of cufflinks is Brookstone and the price is $250. Ever wonder if film still has a life after digital? Not for most of us, but for creating new kinds of art, it probably always will. To celebrate the 200th anniversary of the camera, Eye of America is an ambitious art project that involves the construction of a large, large, large format camera. The camera is 35 feet long and creates six by four feet negatives. This ginormous film camera will roll in and out of the back of a semi-truck as it travels 20,000 miles around the United States to capture images of culturally significant people. I would love for them to photograph my grandmother who grew up as a sharecropper in northern Louisiana back in the 30s and who's shown in this photo impressing a kid at Thanksgiving last year with her ability to remove her teeth. Love you, Nanny. Photos created for this exhibition will be 24 feet high. Detail in a human eye captured by this camera will be 1,000 times greater than what's possible with existing film or digital technology. The photographer behind this project is Dennis Menarchy, and you can learn more about what he's doing at theamericanportraitproject.com. Dot com. I have a question for you, and I hope you'll take the time to go to gadgetreport.tv slash five or comment on YouTube. What would it take for you to buy a dumb phone as an emergency backup? Spare One has a unique selling proposition that got my attention. It's powered by a single AA battery. They say it'll hold a charge for 15 years, and it's good for up to 10 hours of talk time. The idea is buy one or several of these at $50 a pop, keep them in the glove box of your car or your flashlight drawer. If your smartphone is dead, pull out your SIM card from your smartphone and put it in the spare one and you've got access to phone a friend. <laughs> My problem is I don't have a single phone number of anybody I know memorized anymore. Some progress is bittersweet. Kodak filed for bankruptcy, but it doesn't mean they're giving up. After flip cameras became a smashing brief hit a while back, Kodak started making small, affordable camcorders in that style. But Kodak's always done something smart. They incorporate some feature that you can't get with other comparably priced cameras. The Kodak ZI8 offered a mic input, making it immensely more desirable than a flip HD at the time. The Kodak ZI12 Playful Dual is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. It shoots 1080p video and 12 megapixel stills. Nothing unique there. The feature that makes the ZI-12 uniquely desirable is that it's capable of capturing 240 frames per second slow motion. Last year, I shot a dance show for a friend and captured this amazing flip that's even more amazing in slow motion. If you've got a kid in sports or dance, the ZI-12 gives you a tool to help your kid analyze a technique for under $200. Pretty cool but it's not available until the end of March. That's a Gadget Report. Thanks to those of you who have gone to iTunes.GadgetReport.tv to subscribe and write reviews or to YouTube.GadgetReport.tv to give it a thumbs up. If you need a domain name, go to Name.GadgetReport.tv where I can get you a .tv domain name for $11. Go to Produce.GadgetReport.tv to help me make more shows and thanks for watching and thanks for helping me spread the word. I'm at Neil Campbell on Twitter and I'll be back in a bit. 